saying, quote unquote, grab them by the. You're talking about 16 year old girls in their underwear here, okay? Spewing racial slurs on the set of Celebrity Apprentice. President Trump denies any involvement with prostitutes. Don't worry. Tom Arnold is on it, and I'm Tom Arnold. And joining us right oh now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Tom Arnold. Yes. So, how do you know Donald Trump? Well, I met him uh, uh, probably uh, 30 years ago. I did a HBO, Roseanne and I did a uh, HBO special at the Trump Castle. I'm not sure if that's the first time we met, but, you know, knowing people from New York. and, and uh, But I got to know him there because we had to do business with him. And uh, he, uh, he, he ended up in the special, shocker. And uh, and then did uh, you know he used to come on my sports show like uh, I'm sure he came on uh, many shows here and and I went to the Playboy Mansion with Donald Trump to visit and uh, I wasn't the creepy guy to visit Kara McDougal and but you know it was an affable uh, decent uh, uh, you know he was a guy you know and then uh, and then the things changed when uh, you know he decided to uh, run for president and the birther. Thing and that was kind of the end of our. That was definitely the end of our relationship. And what's your mission now? Oh, my mission is to uh, to get him out of there because uh, he's so incompetent and is so dangerous. And every day, uh, you know, what the, this week with the, the children being ripped from their parents. I mean, he's obviously a racist, and he has racist people around him, and he is cruel, and he lies, and and just the trauma that he's putting on all of America every day and he's just changing everything about who we what we are as a country it is so unsafe what it, what america represents and you know eventually it's going to be china and russia on our borders i mean it's, it's i know it seems crazy but he's just changing everything about the fabric of our country but it's just god awful and so you know I, i'm glad that my, my friend uh, michael cohen is uh, is is with us. So did you get, I want to put up, I want to ask you two questions. I'm going to start with, with the idea of tapes. I mean, we've got yeah. some footage of the Access Hollywood tape. I yep. mean, this came out before Election Day, and people voted for him anyway. Yep. So what is the power, what is on the tapes that you're going to release on, on, on your vice Well, the interesting thing about Donald Trump, you know, he, he's, a, a, you know, this, this president, I mean, he's been on tape. The stuff that's available to the public already should be disqualified for a for a, a guy to to rent a car, for instance. I mean, he started day one by calling and faking uh, his own voice to say his father had given him his money and he right. was really a billionaire. Right. And he's done. He's he's admitted to walking in the Miss Teen Universe pageant to see them naked and bragged about that on Howard Stern. So the stuff that's for public consumption already is is just horrible. And that and that and, and you know the tape that I heard, he uses the N word and he calls his son. Uh, Eric, the the R word for uh, 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 people with, uh, you know, it just just discussing uh, uh, sex, uh, sexual uh, harassment things to the women on the set of The Apprentice. That, that it shocked me that Mark Burnett allowed that. And so when I confronted Mark Burnett personally, face to face about it, first of all, he showed me a picture of his kid as Donald Trump's ring bearer on his phone. Okay. But then he said it, it's not worse than grab him by the, you know, the, these racist things. So I, I can't give you the footage you want. Donald Trump wants that footage too, and I'm not giving it to him either. But I, but there are ways to get it. Uh, Gloria Allred has a client who the judge says you have to get it. I think if a, my thing is I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to quit to his out office because he and his family are just awful grifters, horrible people. And I think if people would have originally seen a day of him on the set of the boardroom set of The Apprentice mm -hmm. and seen how incompetent he was, and without people propping him up and lying for him and covering for him, then they would have been oh. Oh my God, no, he can't be the president. You know, well, can't. even his friends will say the idea that he was this titan of business yeah. and, and that people voted for a businessman is such a scam. He was talent. Right. He was, uh, a, a t and, and no right. offense, I mean, you're, right. you're No, you're no, I agree, no, I agree a thousand percent. I should be president. Oh my God. But the, but the idea that he, like, ran the successful business and that people thought they were voting for a successful businessman who could transfer those skills to running the government was a scam. Right. Well, people in New York knew. He couldn't have been the council, a city councilman in New York. He would have never won or the mayor or, or uh, representative or the governor of New York or the only thing he could have the one from New York was the president of the United States because people of New York knew him so and that's scary so so what Mark Burnett sold was this guy on the apprentice this fake guy to uh, middle America
America and Southern. And they, people from Iowa, where I'm from, believe he's, oh, my God, he's Donald Trump. He's this genius. Now, the thing about him, he said that Barack Obama was a, he, he wasn't born here. He's right. an illegitimate president. And the problem with him doing there's a million problems with him doing that. First of all, I was born in a small uh, Midwestern farm town like Barack Obama. And my grandfather looked just like Barack Obama's grandfather. So I was, when he first started doing it, I'm like, oh, my God, if Barack Obama's grandfather was alive, he'd be like, and that's why it took, it took it so personal, because my grandfather right. had to defend me a lot as a kid, too. And also, the, the irony is Donald Trump is an illegitimate president. He did not win the election without help from Russia. You will see this. And he knows he's illegitimate. Every time you mention it, he freaks out. And that's karma. He so is that's, a that's your, that's your theory on why he's so mad about it. I, I want to ask you, though, about what happened yesterday. Let's put this picture up okay. of you with, with Michael Cohen. Yeah. Um, I, I want to ask you to, 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 to get to the answer to these two questions. One, how did this meeting come to be? And two, what commitments did Michael Cohen make, if any, to helping you? There's two things I can tell you. Uh, Michael Cohen and I have, have uh, run into each other six times. Six Michael times. Cohen. That sounds like more than just running into each other. Okay. Uh, I will say that when we started <laughs> what are you our. Saying? Have you planned to see each other six times? I will say that uh, we are. I will say the first. Our first relationship was uh, involved lawyers and involved Trump and the White House and Russia. And I will tell you that. Uh, 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 that I, that's all I can tell you. You will see. And it was, I, we were on opposite sides of the, of the, uh, uh, but we were not, we were adversaries. Legally? I mean, yeah. were you, yeah. were, I mean, did, were you someone that he paid hush money to? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> there was somebody that uh, he tried to get to hush that they. Well, I've got a picture of you with Felix Sater. Is this another yeah. link, link in your um, ties to Well, Trump, yeah, you know, Cohen that's interesting. We, we put so here together. You are yeah. with, um, with a funny and kind friend, Felix Sater, yeah. beautiful Long Island home. We shared stories about New York real estate, our mutual friend visiting our mutual yeah. friend on the set of The Apprentice, Russia, and videotapes. So, so you, you're being too cryptic for me. You, you've watched this show before. Yeah. You can't just dangle out Russia, Michael Cohen, Felix Sater, and tell me, you'll tell me later. What, 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 what are your interactions with um, Felix Sater and Michael Cohen in Russia about? Well, I mean, ultimately, it's about getting uh, the information. I mean, let's say some of these people are cooperating with the... the, the special. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, yeah. so these are and let's say if you follow me on Twitter, you're like, that is a crazy guy. And it's true. <laughs> but when this is over, you'll go, oh, my God. So did Michael Cohen... Give you any verbal commitment, or give you? Did he or his wife suggest that? Yeah, let me just say. Yeah, let me say. Michael Cohen is a great father, and and you know he worked for this guy Donald Trump. But anybody like myself that's worked for Donald Trump knows he's a he's a fool and he's terrible. So he did his best. He cleaned up a lot of messes, including Kara McDougal, who I knew, and her lawyer sued us too, and all these messes. And Michael Cohen's doing his best. He's running, 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 and then he got just hit over his head. And Donna, he 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 went to work and didn't even he missed his own family missed him. And now Donald Trump's like, are you about, who's Michael Cohen? What? He's not my lawyer? I don't know that guy. He's a nice guy. You know, he's so full of it. And finally, he realized it. And his wife helped him realize it. He's like, oh my God, well, I got to take care of my family because this guy is the worst. And so he's taking care of his whole family. But does that include flipping? Did he tell you he was going to flip? What do you, what do you mean flipping? The, the, is he going to cooperate with prosecutors? He's in a lot of trouble. He could yes, be facing he, jail. Did, you, did he say anything that made you think he was going to cooperate with prosecutors? Uh, he's going to do, here's what I uh, here's what I know. He's going to take care of his family, mm -hmm. his country, the, uh, uh, also the rest of us Jews. <laughs> and, uh, Donald Trump is not. He's done. Donald, he knows that Donald Trump. Donald Trump does not care about him. He does not care about his family. And it's over. He does, also doesn't want me, he doesn't want to be harassed by Donald Trump because he is the president of the United States still. And he probably has a bunch of dudes. But the Michael Cohen is going to take care of his family and his country first. That's all you need to know. Think about that. Let, let, let me, I've got two more questions for you. Um, one, we know that, the, that what was seized from his offices included a lot of audio and, and uh, recordings. Did he promise to share those with you? To share with me? Um, I, oh, oh, uh, Michael Cohen, first of all, does not work for Vice. I want to make that clear. He's not getting any money. He's probably broke. I mean, that, but I shouldn't even say that. <laughs> Michael Cohen uh, did not make any promises with me. But you're working on it. You're trying to get Oh, it. I love it because he, he has all the tapes. And he, in fact, some of those have my, are, are, my name is on those. Let me get my last question. You started out, your first answer, you talked about your um, ex-wife, Roseanne. Yes. How did she end up so far on the other side of the Trump question Boy. from you? 
I don't know. You know, we were divorced 24 years ago. I think that she got into, like a lot of people in this country, you know, and, and, and I was talking to, I spent a lot of time, the last few months talking to uh, her daughter, and you see a lot of these, it happens in my family in Iowa, you know. We are talking about the, the makeup. Andy McCabe, the FBI agent, his mother-in-law is from Iowa, from his family and his wife and her, his brother-in-law is one of my best friends. She's a Trump guy. Like, it just, people just get sucked in there. Now, Roseanne is full on with the Nazis and with the racist and, the, and the, it's just crazy, crazy, crazy. I don't know how you get in there. I think mental health and Trump and putting that stuff, you know, it's rigged. If they're against this. They're by they, they, And they also they disseminate so much information. I did a deep dive into the information that, that, that they specifically, you know, it's not just Fox News, but it's Fox News and the Internet stuff. And it's like a drug. And, and Donald Trump is the kingpin. He is perpetuating. And that's why he has to go, too. He's the kingpin of this drug that people are just keeping people sick in this country. He's got to go. We want you to come back when your vice special is getting ready to air. It's a series, Nicole. It's a series. It is a series. I love you because you keep it real. People are like, well, it's good politics when Donald Trump does that. And you're like, no, it's horrible for the country. <laughs> well, we appreciate having oh, you here. Please where's come. Steve Schmidt? Is he okay? <laughs> He's okay. What happened to him? <laughs> He's resting. He's okay, resting up good. for all that, all that eloquence takes Oh, my rest. gosh. Thank you so much Thank for you. Your time. We're grateful to have you today. Hey there. I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.